Embracing technology and transforming the UK real estate sectors is so important. Consumers in their daily lives are used to using new technologies to make their lives easier. People using data an awful lot more in the process of buying and selling land and property in the UK. In particular data about the prices of property. And using that to inform their buyers or their lenders more easily than they can do already. Hi, my name's John Abbott. I'm the Director of Digital Data and Technology at the Land Registry in the UK. We're responsible for registering land in England and Wales, and we have 25 million titles in our register, which we keep up to date. 20,000 times a day, we're making changes to that register. We want to be the best land registry in the world, and we think the best land registry in the world is a land registry that enables and underpins innovation. To do that, we're working across the industry through a project called Digital Street, the research and development project. That's engaging more than 250 organisations to think about and work on the future of the buying and selling of land and property. Historically, real estate people are not particularly good at collaborating together, and this huge effort by the land registry to bring lots of people together. So we had a bank, a couple of conveyancers, a buyer and seller, the land registry, the tax authorities, all of those people were brought together and used new technology to help improve the consumer process. We've also started to explore with folks across the industry how technologies like smart contracts and blockchain can improve the way in which property is bought and sold in particular taking a lot of the administrative burden and the manual process of moving funds and chasing documents up to give a more transparent, more digital online experience for all concerned, be those lenders, citizens or conveyances. We're all about using technology. The first digitised end-to-end residential transaction is significant for a couple of reasons. One is for the consumers themselves and the other is for the collaboration that was involved. The working with Persistent on this was great. Everyone thought that that would take a long time, that getting everyone to build what they needed to build in order to do the transaction from a technology perspective, we all thought it would take weeks and weeks and weeks and, and that setup was super quick. We think the best land registry in the world is a land registry that supports and enables innovation and we're really keen on seeing enabling the industry to adopt technologies like blockchain because ultimately it will make the process of buying and selling homes in the UK a lot more straightforward than it is today. We've run a lot of workshops around problems and opportunities um, in the land and property market, but hackathons enabled us to bring it to life. I love hackathons, I think they're a really, really innovative way to demonstrate prototypes quickly and demonstrate ideas and make it real for people. We ran two hackathons this year, one was around how we could potentially remove the duplication of ID checks in the buy and sell process. We also ran another hackathon which was around other use cases for distributed ledger technology and blockchain in the land and property market. The persistent came with lots of experience in blockchain and DLT and it was all about land registry developers building their capability. The developers from persistent IT and we partnered with quite a number of other firms as well in Digital Street. It was an opportunity for my developers to learn from some really experienced developers and the collaboration was great. So the fact that they came in and were co-located with the team in Plymouth was fantastic. Blockchain will be invisible, I think, to citizens. And I think what it will mean for them is a home buying process that's just more straightforward, easier and full of less stress. It's particularly a technology that we think the industry will pick up and run with. For a citizen buying or selling a house, it could mean a number of things. I don't think they need to be focused on the technology that underpins the process. It's about giving the buyers and sellers the opportunity to go through the process and complete it on their time. We are on a journey to reaching that process. 